Minecraft Dungeons is a dead game. I'm just going to say it. Let's say how it is. Don't try to tell me it's not. It's a dead game. Let's go over it. So what's up guys, my name is Nazblox and welcome to another video where today we are doing something a little bit sad and I wanted to cover a game called Minecraft Dungeons and why I think it's now considered a dead game already even though it's only been it's life it, it's lifespan has been like three months about I think it's about it's been about three months um now I don't want you guys to go immediately in my comments and say you don't play the game you have no clue what this game's about I do play the game I am currently level 325 in the game I have some of the best gear in the game, like triple cooldown on 113 battle robes, and I have a 113 uh, perfect god roll uh, whirlwind. I have amazing god roll uh, uh, fighters bindings. I also have 114 uh, artifacts, basically for every artifact except for maybe like the fireworks or something. So I have experience and I've been playing the game since launch and I, I personally love the game. I do not hate the game at all. I just want to talk about why, a sad fact that I think the game is already in a bad spot and also because of multiple reasons. So let's get into it. So I think Minecraft Dungeons is, I think I would call it a dead game because if you look on so first off, if you look on Twitch, um, Micro Dungeons averages about like 90 viewers every every day, continue, like through the day, um, which is a far cry from its uh, average, like about two weeks after launch. Um, if you go on Xbox and look for people to play with, there's about 30 posts instead of. 200 posts like they used to be, which sucks, because you want to go play with people. And on YouTube, the game is just barely covered, and there's no new content to explore when you're a newcomer to the game. So, why do I think this ever actually happened? Um, I think that the biggest issue that the game has had is the crossplay issue. There is no crossplay in this game. There are four consoles that can play, or four, three consoles and a uh, PC that can play this game and it's not being utilized by what I thought was the king of cross-platform who always supported cross-platform which is Microsoft and somehow that isn't happening which is just sad. It's ridiculous that there's no cross-platform and I think that's been the most devastating blow to this game. The community can barely, you know, work together. The fact that there's no trading in the game is... Well, the fact that trading is coming to the game makes me feel like maybe we might get crossplay eventually, or soon. Um, because, what, like, you want a big range of people to actually trade with if the trading system comes into the game, or you're just really stuck with the people that are actually on your platform. So. I imagine crossplay is coming, which will probably help a lot, but I feel like the damage has been done, which really sucks. Um, Cross-platform has been an issue for me in particular because I, I've i tried playing on both. Like I, I don't like the fact that I can't play on like my characters on the computer after I made my Xbox account. And now I can't. I'm stuck on the Xbox, which I actually never wanted. And I invested too much time into the game on Xbox, so now I'm stuck on Xbox, which just sucks balls. So, the second issue I think the game is running into is the fact that there's no new content. Um, we have Creeping Winter coming up in, as of recording this, uh, 19 days. Um, it's currently August 19th, so on September 8th, supposedly the Creeping Winter uh, DLC is coming out. I think that the fact that there's only going to be up to three levels and a single boss is not enough, and that the issue that the game is happening, having right now is that the, the meta isn't changing enough with these DLCs. 
the jungle deal jungle awakens dlc did not add anything that i personally felt made me want to go and do the dlc i actually have the dlc i've played through the dlc there's not a single item in that dlc that i actually wanted and it's irritating because i'd like to play the dlc for an item that is actually intriguing and good and i'm sure that minecraft dungeons has data telling them these are the weapons people like and these are the weapons people don't like so i don't understand why they would add a slow bow staff and slow air slow bow clearly everyone loves the accelerated bows but they add a slow bow and they also gave us the terrible terrible shadow walker armor which is like probably the worst exotic armor in the game i don't i don't or unique armor in the game i don't understand why they've had it or at least they should have given it a better perk i understand that it's ocelot armor but seriously this is like garbage armor and i hate it so that's another issue the fact that there's nothing new to explore that's worth exploring like i'm stuck with the original game basically and grinding song k for the 500th time um hoping for that perfect gear to drop Speaking of, um, I do feel like another issue is the fact that enchant enchanting has uh, been a controversial topic. The fact that I have to go get new gear every DLC, which hopefully will change with the upgrading idea. I think that's coming to the game if I remember right from watching one of Stu Web's videos. Um, if upgrading comes to the game, this will probably be a huge, huge help. But the fact that I've had to replace my gear multiple times while playing through the game is, is a real irritation and I can't believe that it took them super, it's taken them three months to implement a better system. And yeah, the end game is terrible because we don't have any end game content. I got to the end of the game, the only reason why I still play this game is just because I want to be better than other people. Like, it's, a little, it's, it's, it's clear as day, that's the reason why. I freaking grinded for a battle robe that was 113 with the perfect enchantments and a rare it, the 113 battle robes are rare enough and it took forever to actually get the right enchantments on it as well so that's why i grinded the game to death because that's actually something i care about but most people aren't going to sit for 500 hours of game time just to get one piece of gear the average person doesn't have that much time to spend just playing Minecraft Dungeons aimlessly. So I think the game has a lot of issues, um, especially with endgame content and the fact that there's so much stuff being fixed in the Creeping Winter is great. I, I will applaud them for that. But the biggest issue is that somehow cross-platform was not in the game before, and even if it's added, it's not going to be, um, it's not going to fix the issues. I think it's too late. I think that we're past um, fixed uh, repair like we're past repair time, and there's no going back. I think the game is probably not gonna recover after that type of blow. And yeah, that's that's the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. To well, not enjoyed, but I hope you guys. I hope this was a good analysis of the Minecraft Dungeons game. I hope you guys uh, take my point into consideration. I, if you guys love this game, do not stop playing it. It is so fun. I personally love playing the game. I just want to express my frustration that the game isn't getting the attention it's, it should have deserved, but it's not getting any of it. It probably won't, which is the sad part. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. It's Nancy Box Diana. Peace out, guys.